Hi friends, this is Patty Bennett at pattystamps.com. I have a video tutorial today for you featuring my digital studio from Stampin' Up! Several of you have asked how I made my blog sig signature. You'll see it here on the screen. And if I go to my blog, you'll see it right here. I put it at the bottom of each blog post. Since several of you have asked how I did it, I thought I would show you how I do that. On my screen, I have an 8.5 by 11 blank page, and this is the finished signature that I created. I'm going to leave it there and create a new one below it just so you can compare and see what we're doing. So the first thing I needed to do is click on Stamps and Browse, and that will show you all of the stamp sets that you have downloaded into your My Digital Studio. I clicked on Just Believe. That's an additional download that I did purchase. Click Open, and then that'll show you all the stamped images that come in that set. I clicked on this frame and brought it over onto my screen. And then I wanted it to be in Baja Breeze, so on the right side I clicked Change Color and it brings up the color palette from my digital studio here and I chose Baja Breeze, click OK and that changed the color. Now since I wanted green stems and colored flowers, I clicked on Punches and I had a square punch that I covered up, I'm going to do my best here, to cover the blue stems. So you just click it and drag it and then color fill, change it to white to match the background, click OK, and then you can see that that pretty much covered up the, the blue stems. Now if I wanted to be a little more precise, I could take just a little bit more time and really try and get that positioned a little bit better and maybe even cover up down here, but I'm not going to worry about that part. Okay, so then back to our stamp set. In the Just Believe download, I used this stem image for my green stems, and you can see it comes onto my screen really large. So you hover your mouse over the corner and you click and you drag and you make it smaller and that's still too big, so let's make it a little bit smaller still, and then position it up here, and then in Change Color I'm going to select Old Olive, so there we go. On the right side I'm going to click Drop Shadow and change that percentage and that gave me a shadow behind my stems. Then up at the top, while that is still selected, I click Copy and Paste, and that gives me a second image. And I made that one a little bit bigger, just to give it a little bit of visual interest there. So, so now we have two sets of stems. And then to add the flowers, I had to click on Browse again under Stamps and I scrolled up to Cottage Garden. That again is an additional download that I purchased. And I started with this Flower Trio, but that will come out real large. Okay, so click and drag and make those flowers smaller. And then I positioned them up here and I changed the color by clicking on Change Color. That'll bring up the color palette, and I believe I used, hmm, I think Regal Rose. Maybe I used Cameo Coral. Let me see. Well, no, not quite, but it's close. We'll just leave it at that. You can see it there on the screen. And then I clicked on the single flower. Again, click and drag and make it smaller. And let's put that one right about here, and I changed that color to Rose Red. Okay. Now while that Rose Red flower is still highlighted, up at the top I click on Copy and Paste, and then to layer your flowers, 
you can just do that and I'm shrinking it just a little bit more and that'll give you two flowers that are layered in different colors and if you want to rotate it you just grab a corner and you can rotate it a little bit if you want to move it just a little bit you can use your arrow keys to nudge it over okay then you can see I finished by adding a couple of daffodil delight flowers single flowers on there then I clicked on embellishments and if you click on browse up at the top of your list you'll see brads that comes with the program click open and I added a basic black brad to the center of a couple of the flowers so just nudge it down there a little bit with my arrow keys and that gives you a black center and then a daffodil delight or crushed curry either one would work if you would like to do a yellow center and put that right in the middle so that's how I did the centers of the flowers then the last step was to click on the T for text up at the top and I did the text in two separate boxes so I have one box here that is kind of a rectangle and I double clicked in there and I typed thank you hit enter for hit enter visiting then I highlighted that and on the right here I clicked center alignment and I made the text larger um, I also probably changed the font I'm not going to change the font right now but you get the idea that that's what I did with that so then I moved that over and then I clicked the T for text again and this box I made kind of a low rectangle and I put that one down towards the bottom here and I typed my name and my web address so that's how I did that blog signature then your last step up at the top you click share project export to JPEG and that will allow you to save this page to your computer as a JPG file. I opened up that file with the software that comes with my program for photo editing and I cropped right around my finished signature. Okay, so I cropped right around here so that then when I am blogging and I want to finish off my blog post I just enter this signature as a JPG image and it shows up right at the bottom of my posts so the last thing you want to note though is that if you have white out here like I do is a white background and your signature is on a white background then it'll look very seamless you won't see a box if the background of your blog post area is a different color you're gonna see a white box unless you match the background so I hope that makes sense there alright so that's how I did it if you have anything else you would like to have me make a tutorial on please leave me a comment and let me know and I hope you found that helpful have a great day. Bye.